Hi everyone, welcome to this edition of Cinema and a Snack. You're probably asking yourself, what the hell is he wearing? Well, that would be a dress. Why a dress? Because that fits with today's theme. The theme is things that shouldn't be, such as wasabi Kit Kat, funnel cake soda, me in a dress, or our movie for this evening, Tu Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Namar. This movie stars Patrick Swayze, John Leguizamo, and Wesley Snipes, all in drag. Apparently in a tiny town, turning the town fabulous. <laughs> but, I gotta admit, this feels... A little weird. I, I look fabulous. That's that's for damn sure. But this feels a little weird. Just hold on a second. <sighs> All right, that's better. So. You magic or something? I can't tell you. You're a wizard, Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> First, we have up for grabs is cheddar bacon mac and cheese. Which shouldn't be a chip. Chips no. can go on top of it. But it shouldn't become that. Now you're all probably like, wait a second. Bacon on everything. And cheddar. Needs to be a thing. But honestly, you're going a little bit too far just adding mac and cheese and bacon. Seems like an easy throwaway. But let's try it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it just smells like... <laughs> Like the cheddar beer <laughs> chips, actually. It smells like bacon cheddar cheese whiz. <laughs> cheese whiz. It really does. Cheese whiz? Have you never had bacon cheddar cheese whiz? No. Okay. One. Two. Three. Hmm. It's not near as bad as I thought it was going to be. This to me it tastes like dog food. It tastes more like, like you get a first bite of I cheddar. I gotta try to make sure this isn't dog food. And then like a weird <coughs> synthetic bacon flavor. Yeah, I was like, it's really bland. Mm -hmm. you, all you really taste is the bacon. Like a hint of bacon and a hint of cheddar. And then yeah. the potato chip. Might as well be uh, cheddar sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not your best. All right, and for our second snack tonight, we have Korean barbecue potato chips. Now, I've actually had Korean barbecue recently, and that, we had a uh, bulgogi beef. That was damn good. So I'm hoping the chips are even half as good. <clears throat> That's oddly sweet smelling. That's, that, I... <laughs> <laughs> Just get right in there. I did that with the last bag too. <laughs> it's like a hickory smoke flavor. It's too cold outside, so my nose is barely working. <laughs> and I just do that for fun. <laughs> oh, I like it that looks noise. like Korean barbecue. They should call it campfire purely based on the smell. Yeah, it does smell like a campfire. <laughs> so, three, two, one. Oh, mm. Damn! This is amazing, actually. That's they still should have called it a campfire, not Korean barbecue. That tastes like almost exactly like bulgogi beef, like the flavoring for it. Mm -hmm. This is like really good. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Damn! This is like spot on. Mm. Ooh. What the hell? Ooh. Oh no, I'm good on the two. I'm not. Holy crap. Look That's this. so good. That's magic. All right, yeah. we're ending here. This is all, no. <laughs> we made a promise we have to finish up. Oh, it's so good. Oh, put those to the side. Get it. Those, those Get are it. being eaten. Yeah. Get it. Those are being eaten more. To wash those down, we're starting with something that until recently I've never heard of before funnel cake soda. This is something actually introduced to us by her mom. She found it at our local uh, store and told us to go check it out. So. Apparently, there's enough sugar in here to give you diabetes, so there's that. But let's uh, let's try it. Mm. 
Cheers. Oh my goodness. You can already smell it from opening it. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Yeah. Holy <laughs> ball. Wow. What? That is sickening and sweet. Let All me right. tell you exactly what this smells like. Oh. All right, now if you had jawbreakers and you went up to Willy Wonka, he would slap you in the face and then yeah. make you lick his feet and then take you to the candy store, all right? Like, <laughs> yeah, it's, this smells like maple syrup had sex with maple syrup, gave birth to a million maple syrup babies, and they're all in this can. No, 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 not maple syrup. Like, the the synthetic, like, syrup. Yeah. Maple-flavored syrup, carb like the carbonated version Someone's of Someone's favorite ant favorite flavored syrup. If Tinkerbell were made of pixie sticks, <laughs> this would be it. God. <laughs> God, damn. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Cheers. Uh, I don't, don't want to. All right. Uh, Cheers to you guys, too, Clink. Uh, and here we go. Tastes just like we explained it. It yeah. tastes exactly how we explained it. With <laughs> one difference. Okay. I, I, I don't know of anyone who has ever um, vaped out there before, but that aftertaste of vaping... It tastes like that, but a burnt version. It there's a weird like fried oil flavor for the aftertaste, and I think that's what they're trying to get oh. at with the <coughs> funnel cake oh flavor. Oh god! Oh god! Okay, yeah, I no. can't. Yeah, but oh, other yeah. than that, it's just okay. Um, everybody, give me your coke, your, your cans, uh, your coke. I'm gonna leave it over here. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, I'm saving some uh, of that water for that wasabi wa one. Oh. oh, why did I get rid of my water? <laughs> uh, you know what? It's it's okay. Uh, it's over the moment it's it It's still passed. in my mouth. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, next to last, we have something that I special ordered. Adams. Now, apparently there is a <clears throat> lot of flavors Kit Kats. They have, as we got, wasabi and red bean. They have sake flavored. They have pumpkin pie. They just have a bunch of stuff. It's insane. Those will probably be coming mm -hmm. on a later edition of Cinnamon a Snack, but for now, we're doing these two. So, special ordered these. These were a little expensive. I think about $14 to $18 a box. But, we're going to see how they are. First up is the Wasabi Kit Kat. Oh, it's still... I, I'm <coughs> and Kit Kat. Uh, oh, oh, cool. oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is how the box is. When we opened it, it's each individual nice. one's very nicely packaged, nicely done. Okay. <laughs> and the writing's in Japanese too, so we couldn't actually read other than the wasabi at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And the words Kit Kat and Nestle. Yeah. Oh, 64 calories. Keep showing there. All right. So, this is what the packaging looks like. Yeah, you can draw on it. Oh, that's cool. They have a little drawing thing right there. Yeah, you can draw on it and have send it a picture. All right, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and open them. I hate you. <laughs> so, do you want to eat this all in one bite? No. I am. All right, so oh, they're, they're green like you would expect. It's... <coughs> it smells okay. It doesn't smell spicy. It's like white chocolate. Yeah, it does. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah. <clears throat> Chip went down the wrong way. Oh. That'll happen every once in a while. Oh, I smell it. All right, let's, uh, <sighs> I'm breaking off my first one. I'm totally going all for it. All right, well, three, Cheers. two, one. one. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Gotta admit, initial reaction, it's not spicy. I'm like, just yeah, it's not spicy at all. There's definitely the wasabi, like, mild after flavoring in while you're eating it. But it's not spicy at all. It has a <coughs> actually pretty good flavor. Plus, I like wasabi anyway, so there's that. I could eat this for somebody who hates wasabi. Yeah. That's saying something. It starts out with, like, a matcha-flavored Kit Kat, and then it slowly goes into the wasabi flavor. Mm -hmm. It's happy and subtle. Yeah, if you didn't know any better... Until it like kicks in, you would think it was the matcha. Mm -hmm. yeah. Probably faster than using that word, but okay. So for the last one this evening, this one I'm actually really excited to try. 
It's the Red Bean Kit Kat. So this is pretty much the same inside as the, um, the wasabi was. You know, Japanese lettering, so you can't really read it. <clears throat> and very nicely laid out. Let's see how old this is. Ooh. I'm hoping this compares to the um, Korean barbecue. Oh, it smells like... I love Kit Kats, bros. Wow, that's... It smells that's, like dirt. Chocolate that's, and dirt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it smells like Onko. Bless you. <laughs> that's Jokey Bean, sorry. That's like almost like a raspberry undertone. Yeah, almost. Okay. All right. You ready? Three. Two. One. <laughs> nope. No waiting. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, mm, yeah. Mm hmm. I like it. <laughs> It's like I'm eating chapstick. They're basically a sweet version of kidney beans. I'm sure later I'll be like, oh man, I want one of those. But right now, not so much. I feel like I'm eating chapstick. To me, it has a an, more odd flavor of like dark chocolate, raspberry, not like truffle if you get in a Valentine's Day candy box or something. It has a flavor like that to me. It doesn't... Like a raw... Yeah. Raw dark chocolate. Yeah, it doesn't taste like what I've tasted for red bean before. So, mm. I think they were trying to get like a grilled, like azuki bean sandwich, like because on the <coughs> box it's like grilled. Like yeah, grilled. like yeah. grilled cheese. It looks like a grilled sandwich. So I think they were going for like the. It just came fresh off the grill. Okay. That would explain the weird like smoky burn flavor okay that helps out the flavor a little bit but i yeah. still feel like i'm eating grilled chaps yeah if you're okay. not really used to azuki bean it tastes like those dirt flavored jelly beans from the harry potter jelly beans. <laughs> see i like those <clears throat> it's like a sweeter version but yeah <laughs> this, no it's it, it honestly is it's like just sugar and kidney beans yeah for the review on this i'd say for the uh bacon Mac and cheese, cheddar bacon mac and cheese. I'd give it one animal cracker. I think that's being generous. I'll give it a two animal crackers. I'm going to give it a one as well. It really, I didn't think much of it, but it was even lower than what my expectations were. Yeah, I wanted it to be disappointing in a way it would have been disappointing. Like, like yeah, a, a been good able to, disappointing. Like taste, at least taste the flavors. Yeah. I, Honestly, I like, taste them. The, the flavor to me was like a bad cheddar and sour cream version. Yeah. They tasted just as I expected. Our next one was the Korean barbecue that we had that was just, it was incredible. I mm -hmm. really recommend getting this. Even if you don't like chips, if you like Korean barbecue at all, you will like this. Easily. I easily give this a full five. Full five. I'd like to say a seven, because it was really, <laughs> really that good, but I know yeah. our system doesn't go up to there, so I give it a full five as well. And I'm just going to give it a four. <laughs> Solid rocker four. Solid rocker four. Um, only because that one point, I think it's just because my nose is messed up. I think it's just because like I was expecting a little bit more. Like I don't know. It was good. It was really good. I just there's something missing for me. That's it. Two. Uh, and the one that I want to just get rid of and never <laughs> speak of again. It's. We've had this here for about 10 or 15 minutes already. The smell is still permeating in here. It, uh, I, I give this a solid zero. Oh, oh. Uh, I, it, it, that there is, I have no redeeming hope for this. This is a zero. Zero animal crackers. In fact, they're all just running away. <laughs> I, uh -uh. I give this one about a one. It's not terrible. Someone did try to make that flavor. But I still give it a one. Um, if you want your kids jacked up on something for like the <laughs> next six hours to get back at someone else, like during a birthday party, <laughs> this is your this is your go-to. Um, but I give it a solid 
half half a cracker. <laughs> solid <laughs> half. <A> solid <laughs> half. <laughs> Not, well, actually, no, I give it a soggy half. <laughs> a soggy solid. <laughs> soggy half. Uh, it's so sad and disappointing. <laughs> if if you like funnel cake, don't drink this. No. You'll hate funnel cake. But if you you'll like, hate maple syrup, and that's saying something. But if you want to get diabetes, drink all three cans. Uh, <laughs> probably even just one. No. Uh, all right. <laughs> so, for the wasabi Kit Kat, I was a little disappointed, but also kind of pleasantly surprised. It wasn't spicy like I thought it was going to be, but it was still pretty good. I give this for Kit Kats that I've had. I give this a four. And that there was the wasabi flavor, there's the Kit Kat flavor, but it wasn't the spice. That's the only thing I was, that holds me back on is that there wasn't the spice kick that I would have spent with wasabi. Flavor, but not the spice. So I'd say four. I give this one a three and a half. Disappointing for me because it was the matcha flavor, but it didn't have any spice, and I was expecting that so badly. It just wasn't there. <sighs> and <clears throat> being that I don't like wasabi. And it, the only reason I don't like it is because it has that weird paste, like weird pasty taste normally, and the spice. Those are the two things I hate about wasabi. I actually give this a three because it tasted, yeah, like the matcha green tea yeah. with <clears throat> white chocolate and a hint of wasabi. Yeah. So, a three. Also, just as a side note, I noticed a couple of you had said something about me touching my eyes in the comments on the last video. The reason was I was actually just trying to fix my contacts and I then went through a period of time where I couldn't wear contacts just so I could get LASIK. So I've recently had LASIK. So if you see me scrunching my eyes or anything like that now, it just because I've only had the LASIK probably in the past week or so. So they're just a little dry because there's a lot of air you see in this room. So just a heads up. And last but not least, we have the Red Bean Sandwich Kit Kat. Um had red bean before like i said this didn't taste like the red bean i'm used to it was a different flavor i would give this maybe a two and that there was a flavor to it it was kind of unique but not what i was expecting so i would say a two i give this one a half a pork grilled cracker <laughs> <laughs> it just wasn't what I was af what I was thinking it was going to be. It was interesting. Not awesome. I'll probably want one later. <laughs> but I give it half of a poor half of a poor grilled cracker. <laughs> I actually really like these. <laughs> if you didn't see me shoving my face. Well, here you go. They're all yours. <laughs> so what would you say? Um yeah, no, I give this, I give this a four because it does have like a weird dirt taste, but I really, really like it. So solid four. There we go. So overall, I think the highlight snack of this evening for the best was the Korean barbecue. Easily. Hands down. Worst? <laughs> Definitely the funnel cake soda. No. Don't. Don't try it. <laughs> Unless you hate someone, even then I question it. Don't. Just just don't. Just don't. KBBQ. But give it to your neighbor's kids. They'll love you. <laughs> <sighs> now the snack portion's done, let's move on to the cinema portion. Where tonight we are watching Tu Wong Fu. Thank you, Julie Numar. Right? Thanks for everything, Julie Numar. Yeah. Alright. So, let's go. So the movie we're watching this evening is Tu Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Namar. Again, it stars Patrick Swayze. Wesley Snipes. And... John Leguizamo. All in drag. And apparently they're looking to make a town fabulous. Didn't really read too much into it, so... It's kind of a surprise for us, too. And let's get started. I don't think I've ever seen Wesley Snipes... Snipes name written out so girly before. Oh my. Is that a penis? Almost, yeah. Dude, was Almost. that a penis? Almost. <laughs> I like how out of all three of us, you're the one that notices it. You know, I was the one in the dress. 
You're just jealous because I'm so fabulous. Patrick Swayze. Oh my goodness! Wow, those are awesome lashes. Oh. We're like not even a minute in, and I highly suggest everyone watches this movie at least like 30 times. Oh, oh my goodness! Queen. He actually looks like a woman. Yeah, he really does. Oh my god. Damn. He is owning it. Yeah, he is. He totally has the face for it. He is so elegant. Holy crap. It's, yeah, it's not too long. It's just <laughs> round enough. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> They are seriously owning these roles right now. They are so good. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen that yellow since my grandmother's uh, Cadillac. It looks like milk died. Yeah. And had a baby with mustard. Oh my goodness, that driver's seat. It's like the dry version of Clueless. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Or frenzied you are, make sure you have everything that you arrived with. No, no, Seriously, if something, if if crime, something bad you has happened, you you call somebody. Okay? Yeah, yeah. You don't just leave the situation alone. Yeah, no. especially something like that. My god, why is he so pretty? How many fucking outfits do they have? They're clean. Yeah, I was just about to say that. But they have, they have one, more outfits than they have trunk space. Yeah, they have an outfit. They have miscellaneous outfits. One for every hour. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He looks so cute. I know. I can't get over it. Oh my goodness. He, they both do the head bobble back and forth too well. <laughs> Go with that girlfriend. <laughs> oh. oh, you have the wrong idea. <laughs> oh, little does he know. Or maybe he does. Or little do they know. Ooh, maybe he's into that kind of thing. I was thinking it's a bad town because, you know, cowboy and, you know, homosexual don't do cowboy butt sex. Then like, I don't know. I don't know this movie. We're not watching that movie. <laughs> Oh, this is so 
such a good movie. So good. So good. That <laughs> was fireball. That was awesome. I highly recommend seeing it. I yeah, that was awesome. Everyone played their roles perfectly. It It was a chick flick, I'll give it that. But who cares? <laughs> I, it, it was good. It was, it, it was really, really good. I don't know about it being a chick flick, but it was definitely like a spoof movie. It was more along those lines than a chick flick. Yeah, mm. I would I'd consider it more of a comedy than a chick flick. Yeah. But... I would give it a four... Four and a half uh, animal crackers. Out of five. It was just one thing on the ending I wish would have been different, but I'm not going to say because I don't want to spoil anything. But when you see it, you'll probably get it. It's so... I give five. Oh, absolute five. Such a good movie. And really but, hilarious. Yeah. I highly suggest seeing it. Purely, you know, because you see Wesley Snipes in a completely different light. Fantastic. Look. Patrick Swayze, uh, different yeah, light. Yeah, Patrick Swayze. John Leguizamo. I knew he was fierce, but I didn't know he was that fierce. He was beautiful in this movie. Not from, you know, the makeup and costumes and all, but the way yeah, he... Yeah, I think yeah. it's how, how they owned it. Oh, yeah, just the way, you know, he was walking back and forth. Oh, beautiful. Butt wiggles. Absolutely. Butt wiggles. Go see this movie. I, did, I don't care who you are. Go see it. You'll love it. I promise. You did five. I did seven. Seven animal crackers. We don't go that high. Five. Five animal crackers. <laughs> Quiet you. Go for it. <laughs> Hi. She's channeling her inner Nagazimo. I didn't. <laughs> and RuPaul was a good. Oh, love RuPaul. I'm gonna shush now. To... All right. Go see anyway. It. <laughs> yeah. No, I actually thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I like a lot. I'm. I'm. It's a five, for sure. Um. I just can't get over how gorgeous they look. <laughs> I know. It's, it's a really... Oh! oh. Hi, Beastie. That, that was the <laughs> that was cat good. beast. That was a nice leap. It was. It really so was. <laughs> this movie was like a really good feel-good movie. Yeah. So if you like those, I would highly recommend it. And especially if, you know, this would be a decent family night movie for yeah. kids yeah. like 13 and up. I yeah. Guess. Yeah. It was a family feel good. Yeah. I could say that. If you're a parent, go watch it first and then determine if your kids can go see it. But it is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. It was a so good one. Four and a half. Five. <laughs> five. Go see it. Absolutely. And none of us had seen this before. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> it was so good. For this edition of Cinema Snack, that's a wrap. <laughs>